Hey guys, it's me, Voice Actor Bobby G here. Yes, I changed my YouTube name again. I think I uh, forgot to say that in the last video, so. <laughs> but anyway, you're not here for that new. No. You're here to let me blind commentate on Pinky Tails Little Red Riding Bloom by Magni Pony. This should be interesting. Now, I think I can see Apple Bloom as Little Red Riding Hood. I would like to see who the wolf is, so... <laughs> Alright, let's get started on this video in 3, 2, 1, you... Picky Tails! Woohoo! Picky Tails! By the way, um, I had to admit that, uh, Magni Pony does an excellent job oh, oh, on her videos. They're oh, really good, you should subscribe to her. Cookware. Once upon a time. In a small village just outside the city, there lived a pony called Little Red. That's actually kind of cute, actually. She was given this nickname due to the fact that she never took off a little red cape that her granny had made. She did so to hide her blank flank from the other cults and fields. That all makes sense, family. yeah. But after a while, she had grown accustomed to wearing it regardless of her cutie mark. Well. One day, Little Red Riding Bloom's mother gave her a basket of apple treats to bring to her granny, Aww. who lived in another village on the other side of a thick forest. Arthur, Although Arthur, Little Arthur. Red was a sweet filly at heart, she was known to get a little distracted. Oh, just God, like another certain pig who was chewing was interrupting the story. Hey, okay. huh? What? You're interrupting the damn story. Go back. Get out of here. I don't care. Get out of here. Yes, I know cookies are good. Now get out. Good. All I said was that she had a basket of treats. Yeah. Yeah, but it was the way you said it. All I could think about were apple pies and fritters. Pinky pies! Stop breaking the fourth wall and get back to the story. And apple muffins. Do they make apple muffins? That is a good voice for Pinkie Pie, by the way. Really good. Great job to the voice actress who does her. Can I get back to the story? Yes, please. Thank you, Thank you, narrator. Now, Little Red Riding Bloom's mother instructed her to stay on the path and not stop for anything or any pony on her way. Nope, except she for one. Her that the forest could be a dangerous place, <clears throat> especially for little fillies and colts. <clears throat> if it's so dangerous, why don't you go into the forest on her own? Pinkie. Because that's how the story goes, Pinkie Pie. Well... She wouldn't let her go into the forest alone. Who knows what kind of mischief that little pony can get into in there? Oh my god. Well, you You're just as protected as Applejack is, you aren't you? To find out. Oh, sorry. <laughs> my bad. Yeah, I'm continue like... with the story. Thank little you. Red I wanna know what happens. She began her journey with a smile on her face and a skip in her step. She's so happy. She sang a merry little tune and reached into the basket. Pulling out a delectable looking and Ooh, delicious Ooh, that looks pie. delicious. I'm sure Granny won't mind if I took a few bites of pie. Uh, to keep my strength going, of course. Uh, Little Red said to herself as she a got a weird looking pie, but it still looks really delicious. The smell of the pie and all the other pastries in her basket were beginning to attract a sizable crowd of forest animals. Including <laughs> the dreaded <laughs> Applejack is the big bad wolf. Awesome. Applejack was finishing her last juicy apple when she spotted little red riding bloom. She gasped and leapt out from her hiding place to confront the little Apple bloom, er, I mean, a little red riding bloom. What tarnation are you doing so far in the woods on your own? That's one cake. There are dangerous creatures about. Like you. Little red replied. Taking a step away. Good friend of mine, by the way. <laughs> yes, like me. Oh, I'm God. For Celestia's sake. And do you know what wolves like to eat? Uh, apple pie? Apple pie? Red said, <laughs> oh, God. The remains of the apple pie she had been eating. No, I mean, yes, I, I mean. Apple Wolf started taking the pie from Little Red and finishing it in one bite. Oh, no. <laughs> what I meant to say was. Where are you headed, little Phil? Yeah. I'm on my way to Granny's house with this basket full of goodies. Because she's hungry and where she hasn't eaten for days. And where do 
does your granny live? Far, far away. She lives at the end of the forest path in a little old cottage surrounded by apple trees. You don't say. You don't say. And does your granny live with other ponies? No, granny lives alone. That's why I have to bring her this basket, you see. She likes the sweets, and she likes the company, too. I'll so in this story, they're not but siblings, you know what, I think. Though, there are plenty of hours left in the day. What's your hurry? Mama told me not to dawdle and stick to the path. Did you just say doddle? <laughs> doddle! I really should be getting on my way. Oh, God. Apple Wolf paused and contemplated her situation. Go away from the, the wolf. perfect plan to... Question! Oh, okay. What's contemplated me? It means oh. to think. Okay. Even I know that. ...and contemplated her situation before she concocted the perfect... <laughs> yes, Pinky. Oh my god! Thought up. Yeah! Oh. Now, get back to the story now. No way. Uh -huh. Thank you. Wolf paused and contemplated her situation before she concocted the perfect plan to distract Little Red Riding. Did I interrupt? Yes. I knew it. What? I knew it! Did you even know the word distract me? <laughs> Oh, the Mary is getting pissed! <laughs> oh, shit, you're dropping it! <laughs> now get out! Before I go mad! ...contemplated her situation before she concocted the perfect plan to distract Little Red Riding Bloom from reaching Granny's house. Uh -oh. Apple Wolf intended to get to Granny's before yeah. Little Red so that she could eat the apples from her yard and then finish off Little Red Riding Bloom's basket for dessert. After all, Wolves have a rather large appetite. Yeah, they do. Apple Wolf was no exception. Yeah. Hey there, Little Red. Have you noticed what wonderful flowers are bloomed in the meadow there? Yes. Yeah? Why? Well, don't you think Granny would like some flowers to go with her apple desserts? Mm. How do you know they're all apple How desserts? How did she know indeed? Uh, it was just a guess. That pie you had was mighty tasty. Uh -uh. But a pony can't live on pies and cakes alone, now can they? They gotta have all kinds of good things to eat. Uh, like yep. those daisies Society, baby. I guess that... We need a lot of food. Good. It's settled then. Mustn't dilly-dally now. Granny will be wanting a fresh bouquet to go with those desserts. Oh, wait a minute. Did I just say dilly-dally? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, it's story Oh, Taylor's God. Stop putting words in my mouth. Well, that's every fanfic writer in the world. Bloom disobeyed her mother's wishes and strayed from the path to pick some flowers in the meadow. While she did so, Apple Wolf quickly followed the Apple path until she happened upon a little cottage on the other side of the forest. Her eyes widened when she saw that the group of apple trees surrounding the little house were bucked clean of apples. She growled, guessing that they had undoubtedly been harvested and now inside Granny's cottage. Oh, man. Apple Wolf approached the house and knocked on the door. Open the door! Oh, well now, who is it? Oh, my God! It's Good me. voice for Granny! Little Red Riding Bloom! Oh! Apple Wolf said, trying to imitate the little filly as best she could. Uh-oh. Well, your granddaughter, Little Red. I have a granddaughter named Little Red. <laughs> oh, God. Little Red. Little Red. No, I don't want to. She, she is doing a pretty good job with the voice, though, but she needs to get in disguise. Apple Wolf let out a frightening growl uh -oh. and bucked the door open. It crashed into the wall loudly, but it did not seem to upset the old pony. What? Instead, she called out. Who is it? Who is it? I'm mighty tired of this. Oh, she mad now. Where are you keeping them apples? Granny struggled to get out of her rocking chair and slowly made her way towards the kitchen before she gave Apple Wolf her answer. Now, I've been growing and harvesting apples for many years, you darn varmint! And I'll be oh, oh, oh. squabbled if I have some apple thieving won't take this here crop! Still a good voice for Granny, though. I need to figure out who that voice is. Oh! <laughs> That's what you get! Sword across the room, nearly hitting her in the head. Purple Rosalind is Granny Smith's voice. Good job, Purple Rosalind. <laughs> Ow! Oh! 
She should be knocked out by now by that. By all those pants. I don't get the pants because of y'all. You'll never make, get some sleep because of me. That's what I see. Take this. And that. Knock her out already. Knock her out. Yeah. Said just as one of the frying pans hit her square on the nose, Granny smirked and nodded her head, reaching for another pan, but finding the cupboard bare. Oh, Jesus, she is that you strong. Wish gone with the one hundred pieces set on them to things. handle all those pans hitting her face. Finally. Apple Wolf said, growling again as she leapt across the room towards Granny. Uh oh. She is one strong if motherfucker, though. Out, and Little Red Riding Bloom finally made her way through her granny's cottage. As she skipped towards the front door, some of the many wildflowers she had collected trailed behind her. <coughs> she hadn't intended to stay in the meadow for so long, but the more flowers she found, the more she wanted to collect them. Mm. By the time she was finished, the meadow had practically been picked clean. She All knocked clean. happily at her granny's door. She granny, doesn't know any that the wolf is in there attacking so Granny. There was a long silence followed by the sound of a bed creaking, but no reply. No reply. Really? Nobody's home! Asked, pushing open Get the door out! and inviting herself in. Did you forget I was coming? Get out! I'm in here. I knew it. Trying her best to make a granny impression. Knew it. She had stolen granny's nightcap and hidden under the covers of her bed, hoping to fool the filly. Uh -oh. Little Red pushed open the bedroom door <laughs> curiously. Uh -oh. There you are. What you doing in bed so early? It's barely sunset, Granny. Uh, I've been real tired I didn't... of all that apple bucket. She should realize the but nose and the you ears. You apple buck your own trees, Granny. You have it for years now. Well, I, uh, I thought I'd give it a The wolf is scared. such a bad liar. What you got in that basket there? Oh, I bought you some sweets for Mom on me. We made some fritters and pie. Mmm, delicious. Get here, youngin. Apple Wolf insisted, trying not to look or sound too desperate, despite the fact that she was beginning to drool. Uh oh. Well, the thing is, I don't really have any more of them. What? <laughs> That's what you did! I met this wolf who showed me a medal of really good looking flowers and said I should pick some for ya. Only thing is, I needed something to nibble on while I was picking up. And I guess I accidentally ate them all. <coughs> I have a lot of flowers, though. Flowers? You can't eat flowers. Oh. Uh, the old pony. <laughs> flowers mess with the old digestive system. Excuse me. Apple Wolf's sudden outburst caused the horses Red can actually to take a eat anything. Her granny, and she I don't know if they eat flowers in real life. Uh, I don't really study up on horses, <laughs> so prove me wrong, guys. <laughs> the better to see you with, my dear. What big hooves you got? The better to pick apples with, my dear. What big ears you got? The better to hear about you gobbling up all my apple treats with. What a big flank you got. Flank? You can't even see my face. <laughs> <laughs> my really flank is far bigger than me. What a big ego you got. <laughs> you know, just Ooh. What big teeth you got. You got big dad teeth. Oh, I can't take this anymore. And you got... I'm not your grandma, uh -oh. see? She I'm snapped. Cool. Yes, little red cried, she did. Dropping her basket and she's gonna go on you, Mom, next. Into the wall across the room. Gobble her up? I don't gobble up ponies. I gobble apples. And I was supposed to gobble those How the hell can you eat apples, apples when you're a wolf? Help! Help! The wolf's gonna eat me! Little red cried. Well, it's Applejack in the wolf costume, so... Didn't you hear me? I don't eat ponies. I eat apples. Come back here. <laughs> okay. Pursuing Little Red before she could alert other ponies. The pair of them ran. Hey, it's Big Mac! <laughs> which caught the attention of Lumbermac, who was passing. Lumbermac! Her. Awesome Hulk, name! rushed into Granny's cottage to see what was wrong. What's going on? <laughs> what the fuck? Kinky, what are you doing? Well, I wasn't in the store yet. Oh my god. I see the Lumberjack who saves the day. Also, Kinky. how weird is it that they're called Lumberjacks? Pinky. Applejack is playing? No, Pinky. This is supposed to be Lumbermax. Yes. Where is he? 
What did you do with him, Big Pinky? He's nowhere. He must have They're not putting up your ass. That will not be kid friendly. I am so sorry for the younger audience. Pinky, where did you hide him? Up your ass, ho! Why would you think I hit him? Oh, Get me over here! Stay in here! I'm so sorry! Oh my god! I'm sorry, guys! Gummy doesn't have teeth, Pinky. But I wanted to be in the story! Boo hoo hoo! Pinky, let Lumber Mac go right now. Fine, but I still think I would have been a better lumberjack. Boo hoo! Lumber Boo hoo! Guy. Pinky! Just go, Pinky. You'll get your part in the next next time, all right? In the next story, okay? Anyway, axe and hoof, Lumber Mac rushed into Granny's cottage to see what was wrong. When he got inside, <laughs> he found Little Red Riding Bloom assaulting Apple Wolf with a little wicker basket. Oh, thanks, Celestia! Get this little filly away from me! Apple Wolf shouted, hiding behind Lumber Mac He's and clinging to his back hooves in fear. She killed Granny! Little Red Riding Bloom insisted, trying to get past Lumber Mac who held her a hoof length away from Apple Wolf. Yeah. I did no such thing. If you would just listen to me, I... What the? From the oh, she's Lumber alive! Little Red could see Granny, holding the frying pan in her mouth, and hauling a large cart of frying pans packaged together, reading, 120 frying pan set. Great for keeping out unwanted <laughs> things. <laughs> I can use that. Trouble. Go back to the bad pinky corner. Go to the corner, Pinkie Pie. Nobody wants you. Still love you, though. Just don't interrupt Granny the story. Asked, looking at the horrendous state of her cottage. But Granny, I thought the wolf had gotten you. Ha! <laughs> won't best me. No such thing, little one. What? Now you go on and get the broom from the closet and start sweeping up. Lumber Mac. You know how long uh, that's gonna take? Now can start picking up the furniture. Uh, uh, yep. yep. What do we do with the wolf? Don't you worry, none, youngin. I've got something in mind for her. <laughs> so Granny, Little Red, and Lumber Mac tidied the little cottage and restacked the frying pans in their proper place. She mad. When Apple Wolf finally came around, Granny convinced her to work as a guard for her little orchard, <laughs> protecting the apples from pests and thieves alike. In exchange, Granny and Little Red would bake her all kinds of apple goods to satisfy her hunger. But if Apple Wolf ever decided to get out of line or eat the apples herself, Lumber Mac wasn't too far away with a frying pan ready. Oh yeah! Little Red Riding Bloom learned never to stray from the path. She's gonna whoop your butt with a pan! Where, in case of an emergency. Yep. And the olive apple ever after. Apple ever after? Oh, I get it. They're asleep. Okay. Good night, little ponies. See you next time for Good night. And don't ever interrupt the story again. Oh, boy. <laughs> little Red Ryan Bloom. Alrighty. <laughs> Pinky Rose. Wolf Cake. Great person. Purple Rosalind, you did a good job. Magni Pony. Did an awesome job. Pegasus Pony as Lumber Mac. Uh, uh, can't pronounce that. Oh, additional critics in description. Next time, Pinky Tails, the three little pigs, and the big bad rare wolf. Oh my god! Now Rarity is the wolf! Oh god. Could be her sister, though. Don't forget to check out Pinky Tails, Applejack, and the Beanstalk. I'll check that out, too. That might be interesting, too. Anyway, that was, uh, Pinky Tails, Little Red Riding Bloom by Magni Pony. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that, because I certainly did. <laughs> that was really interesting. I love the fact that all the Apple family are portraying, uh, the little red, reenacting the story of Little Red Riding Hood. And, uh, <laughs> Big Mac as Lumber Mac. That's just amazing. And, yeah. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um... Feel free to uh, let in the comments below and see if I can do more blind commentaries for you guys. Yep. And I will see you all later, my lovely, lovely fans. Bye-bye.